Creating a capsule used to be this like massive overwhelming task that would paralyze me with fear and instill absolute dread in my entire system. But now it, it, it feels pretty enjoyable, dude. So in this vid, I'm gonna show you exactly how I got to that stage and what you can do to just uh, copy exactly what I did. It's another lovely day of video game development. Yesterday, I sat down and did a big redesign of the capsule for the Steam page. It's not the final capsule, but it's a step in the right direction. Let me show you the evolution of the capsules. This is gonna be really cool. V0, um, whenever I make a new Steam page, what I really like to do for all the art is absolutely nothing. I just, you know, black text, white background, slap it up there. Whoever's reviewing your Steam page doesn't give a fuck. You know, they probably know it's just placeholder. Or, you know, they just think you're really shit and like, that's okay. <laughs> but now we move on to version one and it's true, like a little pixel art logo and threw that up there. I actually think that looks pretty good. And then for version two, I tried to draw a high res logo. I actually think this looks worse in hindsight, <laughs> but you know, some, sometimes you gotta go backwards to go forwards type shit, you know? I basically just took the Minecraft logo and used that as a reference. I mean, it, it, it turned out all right, but like I just spent so many hours on this. So then what I did is I was like, okay, well, I mean, at this point, I would really just like to get very good at drawing so that I can do a really beautiful, like illustrated piece of capsule art. So like some of my favorite examples are like Arch Veil, like that looks beautiful. Even Forajo, pretty great. The other day I tried drawing a good version of the capsule as all right, but kind of sus. <laughs> so at this point I was just absolutely overwhelmed. And I constantly had this thing in the back of my mind that I needed to go get better at drawing and make a good capsule, but I just didn't do it because it felt like there were like a hundred different things that I needed to improve at. It just felt way too hard, right? So I was stuck. So yeah, and I was, I was just feeling like that for like maybe like a month or two, honestly. But then I remembered the, the, the great secret to breaking out of this funk. Let me show you how it goes. So the first part of this is that I am completely stuck and don't know what to do next. To graduate onto the next part of the phase, I pick one thing to improve upon or do. Not 10, not five, not even two, just one thing that I could try and get better at. And that brings us onto the next phase, publish. Even though, shit, this is key. Be okay with it being ass and knowing that that's just the price for getting better. You gotta pay it. And then we move on to the next phase. I'd like to call it feedback, but it's not exactly feedback. I'm just gonna call it observe. So this is all about just keeping an eye out for what is bad about it and what you know you could potentially improve. But at this phase, you know, maybe there's like a million different things that you could improve. And we kind of go back to the beginning of feeling completely overwhelmed on what to do next, right? So how do we break out of that? Well, we go back to one. We pick one thing to improve on. We publish it even though it's shit. We observe the changes. Like, is it actually hitting in the right direction? With the case of the capsule, I'm looking at this now. I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's that's feeling pretty good to me. I, I, I don't think I went backwards. At this stage, I'm just gonna let it sit there. That's the key thing. I'm just gonna let it simmer for a little bit and just stay in the unknown of like, not really knowing what to do next. Because what I've noticed is that with me, with enough time, it just becomes obvious what the next thing to do is and it just, just jumps right out at me. You know, a key example of this actually is the whole thing that spurred me onto doing this in the first place. I was actually talking about this whole idea in the context of game design, because it applies to like literally every single creative domain. And Ted uh, said some really cool stuff in you. And that, and that got me thinking, I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I could just do a very simple next pass and take it from what it currently looks like and just try and improve one thing. So I already had the logo that I worked on a while ago with the kind of like failed attempts at the illustration, which was this guy over here, right? That was, that was probably the best thing that came out of this. And you know, obviously I got some reps and actually trying to draw something. So. I I pulled that in there and I was also like, hey, you know what? I could just take a screenshot of the game and that would be really easy. I threw this together in like no time at all. It was great. While I was at it, I also solved one of the biggest problems with creating assets for Steam because that's like fucking just a million different formats you've got to export to. And it sucks maintaining, you know, all these different things. So, you know, I completely solved that problem as well. If you'd like this file, I'm going to throw it up in the school group. I, it'll probably just be in the classroom somewhere. I'll probably make like a resources tab. Yeah, that'll just be linked in the description. So yeah, 
but now capsules feel really enjoyable. I'm happy with where I'm at. It's like a one-click export to all formats. It's just beautiful. All thanks to just doing one more cycle. And the thing about this guy is, is it's just a, it's just a never ending loop. That's what I love about game dev. I'm just gonna keep going around and around and around here. And each time I'm gonna get a little bit better and things are never gonna be absolutely perfect because that would be boring. That's how I kind of think through the entire process of improving at capsule up or just anything in general. I feel like there's, you know, something very fundamental here. Be completely overwhelmed with a million things in front of you. Pick the one thing that's like the best guess at what you could improve on. Publish it, even though it's shit. Observe the changes. This might take some time. Just let it simmer. And then, you know, maybe you'll have like 17 more things on the to-do list that you can go figure out. And then we just repeat the goddamn cycle. It's the name of the game. Drop your questions in the comments. I will read them all and maybe make a dedicated video answering one.